Welcome to module S, the S standing for system. This is the input data on how we characterize the production system. There are four components to this module. The first is looking at the extent of key cropping activities. The second, the yield of current crops. The third, the income of current crops. And the fourth, the gross margin of those crops. The first element here is the extent of key cropping activities. What we're trying to do here is that we know from our prior module in S minus that there are in this example from India about 11 million hectares under cultivation. What we need to then work out is for each crop in each season how many hectare they cover. So in this case we are set up for two seasons and a multi-seasonal crop which is sugarcane. If you only have one season you will only see one line of data. If you have three, you will see three. If you don't have any multi-seasonal crops, then you won't see this final column, multi-seasonal. So in this case, we have uh, rice dominant in the first season and wheat dominant in the second. There's a few things that we should consider. If there is seasonal fallow. Now, it's important to remember that when we define the system, if we used the calculator, we would have defined the area that was under long-term fallow. So we shouldn't include that. What we are talking about in this S module is the active land under cultivation and then partitioning that active land in terms of percentage. So seasonal fallow, it shouldn't be land that is under permanent fallow. The other thing is we'd like to get down to uh, a maximum of 10% that is under remaining crops. So if you don't have that, then uh, try and see if you should add some crops to improve that. The other thing you will see is to reduce data error. If we go over that 100% mark, then it will say the area entered for the Karif season is more than 100%. Please review your inputs and you'll get this error message. Now remember that multi-seasonal crops will go across these two seasons. So this number of 5.9 is being summed in both seasons. We also really want to encourage the use of these explanatory notes and also nominating the data source. So if you used national data, if you used FAO stat, whatever it is, put it in there because when we look to publish, we want to make sure that we have sources for the data that we're using. The second element is the current yield of these key crops. So for each crop in each season, we can see here, uh, Karif and Rabi and the crops and the multi-seasonal, what is the yield in terms of tons per hectare? The fourth element is the income from these key cropping activities. Now the units here are really important. The units that we're talking about here is per ton at farm gate of produce. That's different from our last element, which is the gross margin, and that is per hectare. So the income is how much money would the farmer gain were they to sell all of their produce at the end? per tonne at farm gate. The gross margin is on a per hectare basis to say that they've got so much income per hectare, but they've got costs as well. So one of the things that we can look at here is um, in the example, let's say of sugarcane, the income is 40 US dollars per tonne. But what if we said the gross margin was much more than that? What we'll do is we'll get this error that says the gross margin is more than income per hectare. Check your yield, your income per tonne and gross margin for sugarcane multi-seasonal. So it's saying that this number, there's something wrong with this number because we can't have a gross margin that is more than income. Again, really encouraging you to use these notes sections and pointing out the data that comes in here. So that's what we're doing when we're defining the system. What are the crops? How much area do they take? What is the yield? 
what is the maximum yield, what is the income per tonne of produce, and what is the gross margin per hectare. If you want to check how these numbers are working, you can pop across to the next tab, which is the results tab, and it will tell you in thousands of hectare, um, each crop in each season, and then the total value of production, both in terms of gross margin and in terms of production. So that's where you can check and you can go back and adjust any of these numbers or even adjust the total area under cultivation. This is what we're doing in module two, sorry, module S.